Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to square a negative number correctly on a calculator. A lot of people actually do this wrong. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example. So first one is to work out minus 7 squared. So I've just got my calculator. So if I just typed it in like it is here, minus 7 squared, it comes out as minus 49, which is the wrong answer. Okay, because minus 7 squared is minus 7 times minus 7. And two negatives multiplied together gives you a positive answer. So the calculator has given us the wrong answer here. Uh, the reason why it's giving the wrong answer is because you need to put a bracket around that minus 7. Okay. So it's not squaring that minus 7, it's only squaring the 7 and putting the negative there in the final answer. So if we put brackets around that minus 7 and then press x squared, we get the correct answer of 49. So again, let's just do one more example here. So this time I've got a minus 15 squared. So again, we just need to remember to put a bracket around the minus 15. And that's 225. And let's do one final example. Um, so if y equals x squared plus 3x, find y when x equals minus 4. So most a lot of people go wrong when they're drawing out like a quadratic or a cubic graph when they put the negative numbers in. Um, so let me just show you how to do this correctly then. So if we substitute minus 4 in, since that's been squared that first term, we need to put it in a bracket if you're typing it in on your calculator. And then it's plus 3 times minus 4. You could put a bracket on that one as well, but it won't make any difference there. It's only really when you're squaring a negative number you need to put that bracket there. Okay, so let's see what we get then. So we've got minus 4 close your bracket squared plus 3 times negative 4 and the answer comes out as y equals uh, 4 ok so if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye